For the first step, head over to search and then type in task manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on the details tab. And then you want to see anything that says Riot Games or Valorant on it. So once you locate that, you want to right click on it and then click on end process tree. For the next step, once you find Valorant on your desktop, I don't have it installed on this computer, but imagine that this is Valorant. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on compatibility. And then you want to tick run as administrator and disable full screen optimizations and click on OK. However, if these were already ticked, then you want to untick them and click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. Once we're on this, we want to click on any service and click on view on our keyboard. And then we want to look for VGC. I don't have it because I haven't got Valorant installed on this computer. But once you find VGC, you want to right click on it, click on properties, and then make the startup type automatic and then click on start. And then the service status will be running. But if it was already running before that, you want to click on stop and then click on start again. And then click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in system configuration. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to click on the services tab. And then you want to scroll down until you find VGC. I don't have it again, but once you find VGC, you want to make sure that it's ticked and then click on OK. And then you want to click on exit without restart. Don't restart your computer yet. Do it when you complete all the other steps in this video. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on power options. And then you want to select either high performance or if you have ultimate performance, select that. If you don't see any of these, then click on create a power plan. And then it might show right here, high performance, and you can click on next and you can select high performance. But if you still don't have any of these, then you could just stay on balanced. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to expand display adapters. Then we're going to right click on our graphics card and click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that the best driver has been installed for your computer. If it hasn't, then just install it. Once you complete everything in this video, restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.